everyone. We came here today because you asked. <laughs> Just kidding, we asked for you to ask and now we are here to answer. We're gonna answer, gonna answer your as Instagram. many of your questions, your questions as we can. Which of you guys are night owls and which of you are early birds? Mm -hmm. I'm a night owl, I'm not, I mean, I do not like to be disturbed in the mornings. Me as well. I hate morning person. I am slowly becoming a morning person. I like, I love having time in the morning, but I don't always remember that. Your most awkward moments ever. Oh my gosh, I have a story. <laughs> okay. Good. <And> so, <laughs> a couple years ago, I really liked this boy. <laughs> and so, I see him in the hallway at school, and I go up to say hi, and I'm like, Hey, and you know how when you go to say hey to someone, you kind of like go like this, open your arms. <laughs> no, no, no. So I was like, hey, and he thought I wanted to hug him, which I was not ready for. <laughs> I was not mentally prepared for. And so he goes to hug me, and I like really quickly, I'm like, oh my gosh, no. <laughs> and then he, he's awkwardly like, and then I just go, it gets so bad. I just go, <laughs> and he goes, And that is why I have never hugged a boy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, what is the 125th picture on your camera roll? Oh, Everybody no, goes. Guess. Um, I don't have anything interesting, <laughs> but it's just a cute pic of me and my mom at Disneyland. <laughs> I have a screenshot of this really cute like West Elm pizza. I don't know. I think I like the plates or something in it. Mine is mine's a Snapchat <laughs> that I saved from my brother. I don't even know what this is, but. <laughs> Favorite place to pray? My car. <laughs> I'm like always praying in my car. Uh, I would say That's probably. That's like the most frequent. Not most frequent, but in nature. I like it when it's peaceful and quiet. Okay, yeah, me too. If you're surrounded by it, mm -hmm. it's inspiring. Mm -hmm. What are your high school tips? Any good high school tips? High school tips. Yeah, check out check out our school video. Except when she wasn't in the school. I wasn't either. So give them a piece of high, high school, school wisdom. 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 From a recent high school graduate. A recent high yes. school graduate. I would say high school is a very short time period in life. So do your best in school, but don't get too stressed out. It's fun. It's a fun time in life. Who is your favorite country artist? We were just talking about yesterday how I don't really like country. Ugh. Like I just realized Last I can leave. Last there week. are a few though that I appreciate, and that is Hunter Hayes and Dan and Shay and Lady Antebellum. Those are the three that I can listen you to. Can stay. I love Dan and Shay, Rascal mm -hmm. Flatts, and anybody who releases any kind of music under <laughs> the genre country. Hunter Hayes, Dan and Shay. I really love Lauren Elena's new album. And Marianne. What's your favorite stores to shop at? Ah! I knew you would like this one. My top favorites though are probably Urban Outfitters, Brandy Melville. Uh, I love Forever 21 online. They have some good picks yeah, on there. Their dresses right now. Have you seen their dresses? Yeah, they're cute. I love Target because you can get the clothes, you can get the home decor, you can get food. Everything you ever need. I love ASOS. ASOS? I don't know how you're supposed to say it. ASOS? I love ASOS. I like, uh, I'm a big online shopper. Um, recently, I'm really into J. Crew, Nordstrom. I've been kind of finding my personal style at 24 years old. It's taken me that long, but yeah. And actually, Abercrombie has really cute mm -hmm. stuff now. Okay. Any good tips for a beginner at makeup? You guys do it so well. That's very nice. Oh, not true. I feel like <laughs> no. we have one sister who knows what she's talking about yeah, with the makeup. She's good. You're good at your makeup. Uh, no, not yeah. really. We were just talking about how we wish that we would have known when we were younger yeah. that less is more. Less, less is better. Always more. I use I use Bobbi Brown's um, blushes. They have like these cream blushes that also double as a lip color, so that's really easy because you can just put it on really quick on both. But I use Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue on my face for foundation, which has sunscreen in it, which is really good to protect your skin, and it just has a really nice, luminous finish.
finish that I really like, so it looks really fresh and dewy. This is so pretty. So pretty. Thank you. I actually only use Honest Beauty um, because it's all natural plant-based and my skin is so sensitive, so I really love their tinted moisturizer and their mascara is magical. I do love Bare Minerals lipsticks when I just want a little pop of color because they go on so nice and I love their lipsticks. On most days, for me, I have literally like a three minute makeup routine. I have this Anastasia Brow Wiz. Mm -hmm. That Haley uses it too, yeah. And I just fill in my brows pretty natural. I used to overdo the brows, so now I'm like very sensitive about how much <laughs> I put on there. And then I just use L'Oreal Mascara and then uh, Bare Minerals Blush. That's it. it saves you so much time, time and money too. if you make your makeup routine or even hair routine more minimal. What's the top place you want to travel someday? Mine for sure is Tahiti. That's always been my number one. I'm obsessed with the beach, so I'm going to try to make that happen soon. Um, I would love to go to Italy and the Cook Islands. I would love to go to New Zealand and Asia. I think Japan's at like the top of my yeah. list. If you guys could sing alongside another famous music artist, who would it be? Andrew Bell. Uh, <laughs> I love that would be so cool. I think maybe Alan Stone. He's just oh, so amazing. talented. <laughs> He's amazing. I'd be like AJ Raphael or something. <laughs> <laughs> I love that guy. Yeah, <laughs> What's a, your favorite video you've ever filmed? I think my favorite was Rock With Me because it was so different <laughs> from anything that we'd done before when we got to dance. So fun. Oh, I think mine was probably our Hercules video. Oh. We got we got to film it with some of our friends and it was so fun. Seven and ninety-three, that's her favorite too when you ask the question. No way! What's the first song that comes on your personal Spotify playlist shuffle? Oh. It's Josh Groban. <laughs> Let me fall. Dude, that's from our Cirque child. Right? Yeah, that's from his first album. Oh. Shine on us. The live um, from the Have It All, whatever this like Christian album. <laughs> Mine's the Beebs because he's pretty much half of my Spotify right now. So. <laughs> Any confidence or self esteem tips and advice? I think maybe like on the self esteem side is to just really embrace who you are. Because I think a lot of times we get bombarded by so much on all of our social media, like Instagram, Pinterest, you can get caught up in this really fake world and it, you kind of start comparing yourself to posts that are like the best things that are like, you know, someone's best self that they're putting out there and it's not the reality of everything. It's just only like all the great good things. I think just being true to yourself and embracing all of the flaws and good and bad things that happen in life, I think just, make you who you are. I think all of us get a lot of confidence in our relationship with God as well. How do you girls make sure that you're putting Christ as number one? Do you have quiet time every morning to read the Bible and pray? That's yeah. the key, yeah. A few years ago, um, in church, someone counseled us to give the first hour of our day to the Lord. I've always remembered that and tried to do that. When you first get up and you fill your mind with good things and you try to figure out what God's will is for you that day and then let him know in prayer that you're willing to do whatever he asks you to do. You just feel more directed and peaceful about your day. Someone asked one thing that I have learned from marriage. The biggest thing that I've learned is that I had no idea that I could be so happy and find so much fulfillment in a relationship with another person. Because until you find the right person, it's just kind of a struggle. <laughs> in my married relationship, anything that I invest comes right back to me and it's the most beautiful thing. All of us believe, and in our family, we know that marriage is of God, it's ordained of God, and the greatest potential that you have for joy and happiness in this life comes through a married relationship that you center on Christ. So that's what I've learned, that there's just so much happiness and joy and peace and just fun, and it's the best thing ever, and I recommend it. Everyone should be married. <laughs> Favorite ice cream flavors. I love cake batter ice cream. Oh you gosh. like cake batter anything, I feel like. Yeah, mm -hmm. anything that tastes like cake batter. What's that one kind of Ben and Jerry's? It's like the chocolate, the breakout chocolate therapy. therapy. Chocolate therapy. Chocolate therapy. That's some good That's stuff. That's my favorite. I just <laughs> ate some of that the other day. What type of camera gear do you guys use for your pictures? Oh, I'll show you. Okay, so this is our camera okay. that we usually use to shoot. This is a Canon 5D Mark III. We use a Rode video mic, and sometimes we switch. We also have this lens, which is a... 50 millimeter 
four, I want to say. But we also use our vlog camera that we're filming with right now. It's, it's a, a Sony, Sony A5 100. Which sibling are you most like? I feel like us three are probably the most like. Yeah, we're pretty mellow. We're pretty chillaxed. People. We're the ones who eat the most. What What are your fitness or workout routines? I like to turn the time with <laughs> <laughs> um, I like to run. Well, Lindsay comes with me. Lindsay comes and we do some little bit of lifting with like dumbbells. You make it sound so pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> we pump iron. Intense. We yeah, we go to the gym. We have a gym membership and we we go. It's nice to have access to equipment. Uh, it was it like an outdoor it. hiking, yeah. running, yeah. which I like too. We also wanted to give you an update on our album. <laughs> For the past two years, we've been working on an album. What does that mean, you might ask? Well, we're not really sure. We've written a bunch of songs, we've recorded a bunch of songs. We've scrapped a bunch of songs. We, <laughs> we had a bunch that we weren't happy with, and so we started over, basically, um, because we wanted it to be something that we're really proud of and that represents who we are and where we are right now as artists and as people, and so we actually have a couple songs that are going to be finished that we'll be releasing very soon but we're thinking that we're gonna just be releasing songs kind of one at a time because we have so many we have come together and started writing songs together that will be released one soon. at a time probably very soon very so soon. we're very excited to share those with you guys we also have older songs that we really love that we're gonna revisit and put out too so yeah. super soon we'll have some new original stuff for you because that's what we love and that's what we're excited to share. What are the top three things on your bucket list? Okay, I have a very extensive bucket list. But I'll just choose a couple of my favorites. Oh my goodness. Probably my number one is I really want to take a humanitarian trip, and which Haley's already done. And my second probably is when I eventually make it to Tahiti, <laughs> I want to <laughs> swim with sharks. You know how you see those videos of like all the sharks and stingrays swimming around people? Nope. Mm -hmm. And my cool. third one is really basic, but I want to go skydiving. Um, so I do want to go skydiving and Lindsay and I have plans for my birthday this year. We want to go skydiving. <laughs> so we, we might get that one checked off. Yeah. Also, I would love to write a book and be in a movie. I love that. Mm -hmm. That's great. Those, so are, those are definitely on my bucket list. I would love to write with some of the artists that I really love. I would love to go on a cruise. Yeah, Plus and sister. travel. <laughs> <laughs> me. This is a sister cruise. She wants to go on a, a sister, sister cruise. cruise. We also got lots of questions <laughs> about relationship advice. Oh, I'm not sure. Some of them are like, I'm not qualified. qualified. <laughs> <laughs> Like sister. We all heard my own oh, sister. Oh. <laughs> Family relationships can be hard, but they're the best at the same time. You definitely have to work on relationships like you do if you're dating or friends or it's, you know, any kind of relationship you have to put in effort. So just loving and, you know, we're not perfect as sisters, of course, like every, everyone, of course we argue. <laughs> we don't get along all the time. But when we come together and we are all on the same page, we just we have a great time with each other, enjoy being with each other. It's so fun to create music with each other. So you just have to enjoy those moments that you, those good moments that you have together. So How yeah. tall are you? I'm 5'6". I've been saying that I was 5'4 for probably four or five years. <laughs> so I had no idea. It's like on my driver's license, it's on everything. And then my husband measured me the other day just for fun. I was like, how tall am I? Yeah, tape measure. I'm 5'6", I've been shortchanging myself. <laughs> my shelf. My shelf. I've, I've been, been shortchanging short my shelf. shelf. I think I, I'm either like 5'8 flat or like 5'7 and 3 quarters. And my sister over here, she's always been shorter than me. I've always she been a tiny But she passed me this like week. I don't know what you've been doing. I don't know. She's been She's sleeping a lot. The tallest. I am 5'8 exactly. I got measured at the doctor Wait, last week. Then I'm not even 5'8. You're that probably a tiny bit less. You're probably like 5'7 something. 5'7 and a half. Your life is a lie. What do you <laughs> love the most about each other? Aww. Oh, precious. precious. <laughs> I love Lindsay's sense of humor because. She's really funny, laughing around her. I also <laughs> love Mandy's uh, optimism in the positive way she approaches life. She's a, she's seriously so nice to be around. 
if Andy comes in the room, it's like, <laughs> wow, that's so nice. <laughs> Lindsay, I love Lindsay's laugh. She has a great that's laugh. When you get her goal yeah. to make Lindsay laugh. When you get oh, Lindsay no. like really laughing, it's very funny. Oh, Haley is just the best. Haley's the sister that I feel like, and you probably agree with me, I can go to if I want to laugh, or if I need to be or serious, <laughs> or if I like oh, need advice. Cry. Or food, like <laughs> Haley's so reliable and dependable. Mandy is so kind to everyone that she meets, and everyone she talks to, she you makes them feel nice. so comfortable. <laughs> it's not true. And Haley, what I love about her is that she's so caring and giving to everyone, especially in our family. Thank you everyone for your questions. We hope that you enjoyed this video. You can let us know in the comments what other kinds of videos you'd like to see on this channel. Lindsay has brought it back from the dead, so thank you. <laughs> I just want to say we absolutely love you guys. We see all your comments and we're so grateful for all of your support. The fact that you have questions to ask us. That you and, care. Yeah, that yeah, you care awesome. and want to know. You guys are the best and we truly, truly love you and love to be a part of your lives and share our music with you. We just appreciate everything you guys do. Let's go get custard. All right, custard time. Love you guys. We love you. Yeah. Goodbye.